experiment is instrumentation amplifier. The aim of the experiment is to design an instrumentation amplifier circuit using a pan IC74 pan and amplify the given voltage according to the required gain. So these are the components required. So we will require a op amp, uh, IC741 resistors, signal generator for uh, waveform generation, oscilloscope to view the output signal, breadboard, supply and the connecting wires for the hardware. So this is the design for the instrumentation amplifier. The input voltage to the instrumentation amplifier is the difference of the voltages given to each of the initial op amps. So here we are going to use a three op amp configuration. So the three op amp configuration, the input signal can be uh, uh, under common mode or differential mode. Basically the instrumentation amplifier is going to work as a differential amplifier where the input, both the inputs are going to be uh, taken as differential input and the it's amplified based on the gain of the op amp. So for the three input, uh, three op amp configuration, the voltage gain is given by this equation R2 by R1 into 1 plus 2 RF by RG. RG is the variable resistance. Uh, so we are going to design with R1 R2 of 1 kilo ohms and RF is 50 kilo ohms. So the uh, RG value is going to be varied for different values of the gain. Depending on the gain value, RG is going to be changed. So we can either use a potentiometer or a variable resistor for the RG. Procedure is connect the circuit as the uh, as per the circuit. Apply two AC signals at the input terminals and observe the output waveform. Calculate the practical gain of the amplifier. So here is the three op amp configuration of uh, instrumentation amplifier. So the first two uh, op amps are going to be simply acting as uh, buffer amplifiers. Uh, the output is being uh, given to the third op amp. So the final output is measured at the third op amp, sixth pin. The two inputs are fed to the initial op amp E1 and E2. So here, the when the two inputs are uh, given in common mode operation, A1 and A2 are going to be simply acting as buffer amplifier. So the potential at this variable resistance will be, the difference of the two potentials will be zero and there won't be any current flowing across this uh, variable resistance. So A1 and A2 is going to simply uh, act as buffer. So whatever input signal is fed is going to be obtained at this output pin. So when we give the differential input at these two input op amps, uh, there will be some potential difference between this uh, variable resistance. So the current flow will be there. So based on this current flow direction, we are going to uh, have uh, some output voltage developed at uh, op amp uh, A1 output and A2 output of the op amp. So based on this, we are going to obtain a differential output at B0. So the purpose of the three op amp configuration is the high gain accuracy of the instrumentation amplifier and uh, improved common mode rejection ratio. So based on the input, we are going to get the output. So let's say we are going to have a gain of 5. So the differential input will be the difference of the two input voltages, which is around 10 millivolt. So based on the gain of the op amp, which is 5 measured, we are going to calculate the variable resistance value. Accordingly, the theoretical output voltage measured should be gain multiplied with the two input differential voltage. So 10 millivolt into 5 will be 50 millivolt obtained as output of the instrumentation amplifier. So we can verify the theoretical gain and the practical gain using the circuit connections. So this is the observation made based on the different gain values. So based on the different gain values, the variable resistance can be changed accordingly we can calculate what is the practical output voltage. So we can uh, calculate what is the theoretical value of the output based on the uh, formula uh, used in the gain calculation. Accordingly, we can calculate the practical gain using the simulation output. So let us see the simulation results. So here we have constructed the three op amp configuration. So this is the first op amp, the second op amp and the third op amp. So the input voltage of 10 millivolt is applied to the first op amp. The second op amp, 20 millivolt input has been applied. So here we have given a differential input and here we are using a variable resistance by using a potentiometer. So here I have chosen 30 kilo ohms. So I need around 25 kilo ohms for a gain of 5. So I have given the slider at 80%. So I will be uh, almost getting around 25 kilo ohms. 
so this is fixed based on the gain of the op amp so the gain we have chosen is 5 so based on this we are fixing a 25 kilo ohms resistance value and the feedback resistance is connected as 50 kilo ohms and we have given all the supply connections for both the op amps and this is the third op amp so both the outputs of the first two op amps are fed to the third op amp here we have chosen a resistance value R1 and R2 are 1 kilo ohms so now we have to observe the final output voltage of the third op amp so let us run the circuit so my differential input is given as input to the channel A and the final output is given to the channel B now we can verify the input and the output voltages so I can pass the simulation so I am placing the first cursor at the peak of the both the waveforms so the first signal is the input signal and the second signal is the output signal so my input signal is the differential input which is nearly 10 millivolt I have connected 10 millivolt input as the input differential signal and my output signal is nearly 50 millivolt so this is almost practically matching with the theoretical gain so my input 10 millivolt multiplied with 5 is the theoretical output voltage so which is matching with the channel B output of 50 millivolt so this is for one specification so we can try for different specifications of the gain and observe the theoretical and the practical output voltages